All right, Jake, let's take a look at one of your runs from uh, slalom training on plummet. Watch it first in regular motion, then uh, slow it down. Check that out. A little slower. Uh, some good parts up on the pitch here. I thought you skied really well. Seem to be ahead of it here. Bringing a little shape back to the pole. Getting direction done. That was pretty good. Uh, not too sure. Clearing the hairpin with two hands. Um, not sure what that's about. You know, we got to use one or the other. Preferred method and best method is, you know, alternating hands. But we, we, we can't have two up sort of protecting yourself. Um, some good turns in there. Getting it done from above, bringing shape back to the pole. Direction done, we like that. smart here. The pole's leaning over. It looked like you were going to try to outside arm clear it and then decided eh, it's too far away, which is smart. So you let it go. So if you're not near the pole, if it's not in your way, you know, let it go. Let it go. Uh, otherwise it causes rotation. Uh, it uh, causes skidding typically. And here coming into the blue gate, you know, just turned way too early. So your skis are already in, in the fall line heading down the hill, you know, before you're really above above the gate so you have no choice now but just to skid by until you get room and then all your turn you know is down here that's really heavy um, you know we're looking to make comma shaped turns turn shape above the pole this is more like a J shape so your turn shape is below I kind of set you off a little bit on a low direct line to this one so you came in without enough space above the rise line um, and now your turn's heavy below right here so same idea we got to stay above it we got to maintain elevation uh, unfortunately you know a couple of mistakes like that kills your speed better there through the hairpin using alternating hands but you know there's some good stuff going on here obviously see some good ankle flexion definitely in the front of the boot um, you know, you're not really reaching too much um, I will say one thing though you know we need to get some better extension at the top of the turn um, you know here in the transition it's fine, but right here we need to move forward, go after the pole, don't let them come to you, bringing those hips up over the boots. Here again, never really got, I mean, a little bit, but you can see here, coming through, and I think we've talked about this, where, um, you know, you have a lot of just really up and down motion, it looks like you're sitting half the time. And instead of moving forward to the turn, here you never really got him up, uh, hips up over the boots and, and really the driver's seat. So you got to go after the poles. You know, don't let the poles come to you. Go get them. Uh, second thing we've talked about a lot is, you know, feet too close together at the top of the turn. Really hard here to have much early pressure um, without a wider stance and wider platform to push against. So you can see skidding the top of the turn there so we got to keep them wide through the transition and, that, and that's better there right so you can do it right
Not sure what happened here. Just just coming in like you know, obviously way too way too direct. Um, don't know, but now you're behind it, fighting. You know, so here is our our flush, and I, I don't really know. You know, you're making it too difficult on yourself using all sorts of arms. I mean, you know, you're you're like protecting yourself. It's, it's pretty simple. You know, one hand through the flush. In this case, you know, it would be your your left arm. Cross block the top, inside arm clear the next two. Cross block the following two, two center gates for a strong exit. But you've got both hands up there, and both hands in front of you. You don't know which way it's going right there. Um, and again, you know, make sure we're patient. Make it to the rise line, bringing shape back to the pole like you were doing on the pitch. And here, you, you know, again, turn too early. I mean, you could see right there where would that turn if you arced a turn from there uh, you'd be you'd be hooking and you'd be inside the gate so what you do slide 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 and then I could turn so all your turn is right down here and you can see the spray that's just heavy below the gate and, and slow you know same there all that it's all this is this is unfortunately slow um, so anytime it's steep anytime it's offset we have to bring shape back to the pole, make sure we get our, our turn done above and release the pole, release the ski, I mean, shortly after we pass the pole with direction, heading off to the next apex area and not necessarily, you know, that next pole. But uh, there were some really good sections there, making some progress. Um, and we will do it again this weekend.